Well, today's really an important day because we're going to talk about the fetch command. It's one of the most difficult parts of the training process for most amateur trainers. <clears throat> In fact, it's pretty common for people to say, oh, I got all the way up to force fetch and then I had to send my dog off to a professional. And it's difficult for several reasons. Number one, there's all kinds of different dogs and um, their level of uh, how sensitive they are is different, how smart they are is different. So for a hundred years, most people, when they teach the fetch command, call it force fetch and it involves what is also called ear pinch, which means you pinch the ear with either your thumbnail or, or something, which inflicts enough pain so the puppy will open his mouth. And at that point, you stick the bumper in and then you try to get him to hold. And then you take the bumper away and it's the release or out. Some people say drop. So step one to know is that it's a three part deal. Fetch, hold, out. Those are the things. Now, I've developed a different way of doing it and it doesn't involve ear pinch. In fact, I hate ear pinch. I haven't pinched in one ear for 20 or 30 years. So I have a different process which involves getting the dog really excited and wanting to retrieve, wanting to fetch. And there's a technique to have that happen. It starts with understanding what we call the game and then we create this intense attraction for fetching a bumper. Now, <clears throat> it's pretty hard to talk about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a puppy that's 10 weeks that is just starting this process. And I'm going to demonstrate how this whole thing works how you get a puppy to get so frustrated to get something that it does it on its own and it's like a little miracle. And once people understand it, then anybody can, if you have the, the little technique down, teach not only a retriever, but any dog to fetch. <clears throat> and so I'm gonna get a little rainbow out and get her started on the fetch command. So Rainbow is either nine or 10 weeks. When, when I first start this, I like to use a paint roller because it's real easy for little puppies to hang on to. Their little pin teeth get in there and they, they're pretty good at handling. So then you create a little excitement and I use a word that is going to carry me through even into the adult. And I just say, day, 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 ready, 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 dee, dee, fetch, fetch, fetch. Good, good, good. Add a girl, add a girl, add a girl. Sit. And then I'll t I try to keep it in their mouth if I can, but it's not required. Hold, good, sit, sit. Out, very good, ready, fetch, fetch, good, sit, good girl, all right, lay, 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 good, yeah, that's it, good, 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 out. So that's how, what it looks like, you create some interest, sometimes you have to make more racket and tap it on the ground and dike, 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 dike. Ready, 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 fetch, good. Ready. 
good girl. That's a good girl. Good girl. And then I start to, this hold command right while I'm at it. And then, see, she can't drop it. My hand's under here, so that's, that's no problem. And then I say hold, hold, out. And that's the completed fetch, hold, out. Started here. She doesn't even know what's happening, but she's doing it. And after she's done it a bunch of times, she's going to get pretty good at it. Okay, come on. Let's go. Ready? Bye. Day, day, day. Look at her. Look at her. She wants it real bad. Good. Where to go? There it is. Good. All right. All right. All right. All right. Good girl. Okay. So that's what it looks like. And uh, most every puppy reacts the same. They get excited, then they can't get something, and they get sort of frustrated to get it, and they try for it, and at the last minute, you let them have it. You don't push it in their mouth. That's the last thing you do. You, you make them actually get it on their own by keeping it away from them. Watch one more time. They, 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 they. Hey, 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 she snatched it right out of my hand. Very good. Good girl, okay. All right, hang on to it. Good girl, good girl. So in this process, there's no punishment, there's no discipline. It's a game, a game to fetch. And what, at some point you'll get a little rope like this or this thing, and they go berserk to get it. I'm gonna get a, a regular bumper just for sport. And uh, I have one that I keep that doesn't have a string on it. A lot of times when you throw a bumper uh, for a puppy, got a string on it they get all worried about the string and so ready ready night 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 good yeah 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 okay okay good sit okay good girl okay yeah yeah ready night 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 good make sure you have a rope Without a rope, you're dead. You can have no chance. Good girl. Ready? 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 All right. Ready? Ready? Day? 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 Hey! There you go. There you go. There you go. Very good. Very good. All right. Okay. That's it. So, one of the things that people do right now that I I've gotten totally away from is they'll take a bumper like this and then they'll sling it. So I like to walk. We're getting into a whole nother topic. But I like to walk and when they're not looking, when they're not paying attention to me, that's when you throw. Bye. That a girl, that a girl. Bring the stick then. Bring something. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Hey! Okay, okay, that's very good. All right, okay. Oh, easy. that's my hand. Ready? Hey, there you go. That's good. All right, that's a girl. Okay, that's how you start it. Right, like that. Right? Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the excitement and the fetch and the hold is the beginning part. Then later on, the whole thing gets reinforced with the electric collar, which is really important. And that whole process, you know, I've got an entire, a hey, little girl, a hey. yeah, yeah, you're a good girl. Hmm? You good girl? I've got an entire movie just on the fetch command. The start, the middle, and the finish. And it's really important if you're going to teach your dog to fetch. So that's really important. So step one is the excitement. Step two is reinforcing what they're already doing, which is fetching, 
with the electric collar. And uh, that process is outlined in the video called the fetch command. You can get that by going to billhillman.net and if you look around there you'll, you'll find it. You can also go to hawkeyemedia.net. Either way. Now just for sport, I'm going to get a full grown dog and show you a dog that's been doing the exact same thing as that ever since he was this size. It still is you, the way that you get a dog into the right frame of mind and you're constantly rehearsing this exciting thing, fetch. It's what everything in the field is based on, fetch. And then the component parts, fetch, hold, out. So hang on, I'll get Shadow out here and see if he can still fetch after. He may have forgotten, who knows. So then if you get a big dog and you, you just want to use the concept, the excitement of the fetch command. Hey, come here, Shadow. Ready? Ready? Bye. 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 Good. Sit. Ready? Ready? Fetch. Good. All right. All right. Ready? Ready? Good. Sit. That stays with them their whole life. Sit and it begins some people I, when i first started training dogs people said you don't start force fetch until they get their adult teeth well why is that oh who knows i think because the bumper's hard so that's the reason for the paint roller it's easy so in the meantime hang on i've got one more message coming along it's a really important one At your command, the water fled. At the sound of your thunder, it hurried away. Mountains rose and valleys sank to the levels you decreed. Then you set a firm boundary for the seas so they would never again cover the earth.